PCB design flaws can increase the cost of your printed circuit boards and complicate manufacturability. This video covers the 10 most common mistakes that Z-axis sees and explains how to avoid them. Number 1. Don't place parts too close to the edge of the board. Follow industry standard tolerances and leave a quarter inch on two parallel edges so that we can hold your board without rails or fixtures. Odd-shaped boards also add costs because of the need for fixtures. Number 2. Don't use more layers than necessary. It's easier for a designer to add more layers, but boards with more than two layers are more expensive. Number three, don't put parts on both sides of the board if you can avoid it. Putting most parts on one side and just a few on the other means we'll have to flip your board and repeat a series of steps, doubling all startup costs. Number four, don't put SMT pads too close together. Otherwise, solder paste could flow together causing parts to leave their pads and move to the center of the solder. Number five, don't intersect an SMT pad with the solder mask opening for a via. Otherwise, solder paste could flow down the via and starve the solder joint for the surface mount part. Number six, don't put parts too close together. Leave enough room so that the pick and place process won't cause collisions that can result in lower yields and higher costs. Number seven, don't leave too little room for selective soldering. If surface mount parts are on one side and through hole parts are on the other, soldering the through hole parts could wash off the surface mount parts. Number eight, don't use copper traces with significantly different weights. A lower copper weight heats up more quickly and could cause the part to stand on end like a tombstone. Number nine, be careful when creating your own component footprints. It's easy to make mistakes, so you follow the footprints from component manufacturers. Number 10. Don't design the entire board to the limit of PCB design rules. Remember that building a board is an exercise in probability. When you push the envelope unnecessarily, you increase risk and add expenses. Now that you know about the 10 most common PCB design mistakes, you can take steps to avoid them. And if you need, let us know how our engineers can help.